Well, it seems like, uh, especially with boxing right now, the talent level is extremely high. I mean, yeah. it is with MMA as well, but I mean, with boxing, it seems to be on an upswing. And it also seems like people are really interested in some of these big rivalries, like Triple G and Canelo. Uh, Canelo. That was f two amazing fights. I thought the first one was a robbery. I yeah. thought that uh, Triple G won the first one, but the I second one- I hope they one, don't fight again. Really? Yeah. Why's that? Because uh, when you get a guy that hits as hard as Triple G does- and you get a guy that's as good as Canelo, you know, and, and they're in there, even though they're not getting dropped and they're not getting knocked out, that, them type of fights take a lot out of you. They really do, and they shared a lot in those two fights. And we don't know even right now if the next fight or the fight after that Canelo starts showing some of the effects from those first two fights. You think you so? Know? Yeah, you get a guy that hits, two guys that hit that hard and they're in there fighting like that, it, eventually it does drain you a little bit, and that will catch up. I think mm -hmm. a third fight, We'll shorten the career of Canelo. I'm not really? going to say Triple G because Triple G is my age now, and I I have a feeling that his might be getting short here pretty soon. Anyways, yeah. just due to age. But Canelo, I mean that that's those are brutal fights. They were brutal fights. Did you think that um, some people thought that Triple G won the second fight as well? I thought it was much closer fight than the first fight. But did you think that Canelo or Triple G? I think Canelo showed some improvement, but it's also possible that Triple G might have slowed down a little bit. I think so. Um, you know, the first fight I had at 9-3 for Triple G. That's how I scored That sounds it. about right. Yeah, and I gave the first three rounds to Canelo, and then I had it every round after for yeah. Triple G. This fight I thought uh, Canelo won. Close fight, and if you gave it to Triple G, I wouldn't have screened robbery. Right. You know? I think Teddy was saying that he thought that Triple G won, but um, I felt like well, it's a pretty close fight, pretty close fight, but yeah. certainly Canelo showed much improvement. He did, and he fought a, a better fight. The first half of the fight, I gave uh, Canelo a lot of rounds because I thought he controlled the fight with the, with the body shots. Mm -hmm. Everybody thought Triple G was controlling it with the jab, but the reason why Triple G wasn't using his size and strength was because, and was using his jab was because of the body shots that Canelo was landing. I mean, they were brutal, and mm -hmm. uh, I just thought Canelo dictated the pace of those first couple rounds. Um, I thought he won enough of the early rounds and obviously, Triple G won the, late, the second, most of the second half of the fight. But I thought it was a little too late, you know. And I had Canelo up by a round or two. Yeah, um, it's it's just one, those are those are two fighters that really sort of epitomize uh, what people like to see when they like to see like these classic rivalries, right? Like a guy like Triple G, who's just forward pressure, constant throwing bombs, knockout puncher, a guy like Canelo who's just one of those classic Mexican fighters that has incredible yeah. heart, wants to fight the best of the best, like really like really takes it into like he did who in the he first is. fight. Yeah. 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 Stay on the ropes with Triple G and mm -hmm. let him let him use that power to beat your organs and yeah, uh, one of those type, you know. <laughs> I was sitting there, I'm going, I'm not one to talk. I, I kind of like getting in and, and getting involved myself with guys, especially like with Miranda, who I personally believe hit harder than uh, Triple G. Really? But, yeah, you know, and I was a guy in there, but that was my strategy. As where Canelo, that, was, that really wasn't a great strategy, you know. I didn't lay on the ropes and let Miranda Do you think me. he just didn't know what to expect until he was in there with Triple G? It could have been because everything changes. Like, I think Mike Tyson said it, you know, everybody's got a game plan until they get hit. Uh <laughs> he might have got touched, like I said, it, it, even with the uh, tension in that Mayweather fight, and the whole brain might have just started going a thousand miles an hour trying to figure out, mm -hmm. okay, like this ain't going to probably work tonight with this guy because he's a lot stronger than I expected, right. and he was just trying to maybe tire him out. The only issue is now you're when you're on the ropes like that and you're getting hit by a guy that hits that hard in the delts, in the elbow, in the forearms, and and to the body. And then you're, t you're tightening up and you're tensing up really hard and you're cutting the oxygen off to the blood. It tires you out quicker and it wears you down, you know, more than what he was doing in the middle of the ring by a pop shot and, and, and right. counter punching. And he could have dictated how fast he wanted, you know, how much he wanted to punch, how hard he wanted to punch. Yeah, we certainly made some big improvements in that second fight. Yeah. Do you um you, you really don't want to see them fight a third time? I, I truly don't. I mean, if it happens, I'm going to watch it. You know, but, but they're going to fight, right? I mean, Canelo's obviously going to fight some people, and Triple G's obviously going to continue fighting. Yeah. You know, and again, I don't know how long Triple G's going to fight because, as you mentioned, and, and I agree with you, um, I think he's starting to – his age is showing up a little bit with him. Well, I mean, he he got avoided by a, a lot of people, and, 
we, you know, when he had a pay-per-view a couple of years back that only got 150,000 buys. And I remember thinking, that is a damn shame. It is. It's a damn shame that people don't realize that this is absolutely one of the best fighters ever. I was surprised by that, too, because I think he's a lot more popular than what those numbers showed. I didn't get it. I don't understand. I mean, I don't. Maybe it's because they didn't think the fight was competitive. Maybe, I mean, maybe, I don't know what it was, but yeah. it just, it seemed like. I, I just think personally myself, there's a lot of fights out there for Canelo. He just went up to uh, 168. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of that. You know, do you think he's too small for 68? I, I do, especially if you get in with the right fighter. I, right. I truly do believe that. You know, well, everybody. How, how tall is he? Is he 5'10? Yeah, 5'9, 5'10. Um, but, you know, with boxing or like football, when you see the height, you always got to take an inch, inch and a half off, too. So, oh, do they lie? Yeah, they had me listed 6'3. I'm right under 6'2 by mm. like that much. So it's kind of like the football program in high school. Right, you know? right, right. But, um, Canelo, I think that there's guys out there staying at 68 is kind of dangerous. I think he's right now talented enough to keep good fights out there. Yeah, but it's a little dangerous in my opinion. I would Who do go you back. think it, 68 could cause problems for him? You got even the guys like Zerto, Benavidez. Mm-hmm. You know, those are dangerous fights. Just them two guys right there I would have to take. Not so much overall skill-wise, just size and, and being at that weight. And, you know, um, there, you got guys coming down like Bivol. Mm-hmm. From 175 to 168, I think that his better days are going to be at 160. You know, do you think he, does he have a hard time making 60, or do you just have an opportunity to fight 68 and he took I, it? I think it's the trophies. Yeah, you know, and, and I don't blame him for that either. He had the right fight to go up to 168, so get another weight division under his belt. Yeah, he was know. tuning that dude up. And I think that'll be what three? No, he's a, a three weight class champ. Yeah, and uh, so that, that, that looks good on paper when you retire. Yeah, you know, well. And, it, it does. I would have done it if I could have, you know, if there if there was the right fights out there. But when he fought Mayweather, Mayweather made him cut down to what fifty two? Was it something like that? I think they had, they were at a catch weight around that. Yeah, um, that fight was to me. Well, it was a good learning experience for him to to be in there with a guy who's as slick as Floyd is, but also a good learning experience that you're not supposed to suck that much weight out of your body. Just he didn't have the fire. No, even though you have uh, 24 hours or however long it is to try to rehydrate, that's never enough time to recoup. Yeah. It's not. So your your thing is you're just hoping your opponent's going through the same thing that you are. You know, that's what it comes down to. 